Namaste. I'm Alakananda Ma, Ayurvedic doctor and principal of Alandi Ayurveda Gurukula and Ayurveda School in Boulder, Colorado. Stop by, visit us, have a nice lunch. We'll be happy to see you. So in recent weeks, we've been talking about our subtle essences, ojas, tejas, and prana, and how to support them. We've given simple lifestyle tips and remedies for each of these subtle essences. But there are more complex problems that can occur in terms of these essences. Any one of our subtle essences can be in excess, depleted, or invaded by one of the three doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha. To give a few examples, we might have excess prana causing us to be anxious, nervous, or hyper. We might have excess tejas, causing symptoms such as judgment, criticism, anger, rashes, acne, hot flashes, and even serious conditions like lupus, neuropathy, and multiple sclerosis. And if you've been diagnosed with a blood lipid problem like high cholesterol, chances are you have excess raw ojas, or that kapha has invaded ojas. Many people we see after they've had COVID are complaining of breathing problems or low energy, and they usually have low prana with vata invading prana. On the other hand, with kapha in tejas, we might see sleepiness, heaviness, and dullness. Worst of all, when pitta is in ojas, we know we're looking at a deep-seated inflammatory condition like an autoimmune disorder or ME CFIDS, myeloencephalomyelitis, or chronic fatigue disorder. An Ayurvedic doctor who does pulse reading is equipped to give an in-depth assessment of your ojas, tejas, and prana. They might recommend tikta ghee for pitta and ojas, or pipali ghee for vata and prana, and we do have vegan options as well. While it's always crucial to treat vata, pitta, and kapha doshas, a more in-depth look, examining the subtle essences, will provide better results for chronic illnesses and other complex health problems. I'm grateful every day for the rich array of treatments available for managing all the subtleties and optimizing health. That's it for this week. We'll see you again next Monday. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this, please click like, share, get the word out. Many blessings. Namaste.